I want to ask you about your move later this year. Uh, Zappos is moving its headquarters from Henderson, Nevada to downtown Las Vegas. Right. Um, as head of sustainability at Zappos, what are you most excited for? Uh, we're really excited about this. So as you know, in October, we're moving the Zappos uh, corporate campus from Henderson, Nevada to downtown Las Vegas. And we're reusing a really awesome building. It's the old city hall. It's 300,000 square feet, and we're going to reuse about 90% of it. So we're not tearing anything down, and we're not building anything new. So our demolition footprints can be very small, the carbon associated with that. And it's a really awesome building. The bones are great. And some of the unique features that I'm excited about is, one, we're pursuing LEED certification, and we haven't really talked about that publicly. But uh, it's the right thing to do, and we made that decision. And so there's going to be a lot of cool initiatives associated with the sustainable building because we want to build a high-performance campus for our employees. So some of the things I'm really excited about are the urban connectivity, you know, the uh, 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 connectivity to alternative transportation. The bus system is great. Um, we're trying to build, um, you know, urban density too. We're in walkability to shops, retail, um, bars, restaurants. So we'll get our employees out about in the community and not build an insular campus where everybody just stays there. We have a parking problem. We're not going to build any new parking. So we have about 950 parking spots for 1,500 employees. And by December, we'll have 2,000 employees. So what are we going to do? So we're coming up with really awesome incentive programs to get people to give up their car and either take a bike to work or walk to work or use the bus. You know, however we can do it to not have to build new parking um, and get people out in the community. Uh, also, we're going to have Las Vegas's first bike sharing program. So bikes all over the Las Vegas. You can get one, pick one up, take it around. For employees that want to bike to work, we have showers. We have awesome bike racks. It's going to be centrally focused. So we have a really big biking population at Zappos, and we're excited to uh, enforce that. And just uh, other unique features, like we're really um, focused on energy efficiency with new central plant equipment, uh, efficient lighting, daylighting, lighting control, the usuals, awesome recycling program, and, of course, uh, water efficiency, so we'll take some measures there, too. I'm glad you brought up water efficiency because you're leading sustainability for a company located in Nevada, obviously in the arid west. Um, how does Zappos think about water and natural capital when it comes to its business? The population of Las Vegas has quadrupled since the 80s, and the water supply has not. So where now we don't have enough water, obviously, and we, and we know that and we take that very, very seriously. Um, but, you know, we, we're taking every measure we can in our downtown development project. So for the LEED that I didn't talk about, um, the LEED certification, we're pursuing all the points that we can in water efficiency. We had great toilets left over from the city of Las Vegas in the building, but they weren't low flow, they weren't efficient. So we made a choice over you know, saving water or saving money in the construction budget, and we chose to replace all those toilets. And we're going to be a very low impact campus, as well as, you know, we're not building golf courses or water parks or fountains downtown. We have buildings that use just uh, some domestic water. Um, and we fully support the agencies like Southern Nevada Water Authority in the Las Vegas Valley Water District, Clark County, the city of Las Vegas. They have teams of experts that are working on this. And it's an enormous burden, and we support them. And we're really happy to have great partners out there that care about water. And the whole community is focused on it, too. Our team um, understands sustainability. They care. They want to do the right thing everywhere we can. Sometimes there is a premium. Some things we could not do within our construction budget. We had to use that money for other parts of the renovation but for the most part we were able to build a really high performance building and it's going to open in October and it's going to be awesome and we definitely look at financial analysis and we look at the business case for our actions of course you know we're a company who cares about that but at the end of the day we're really happy that if it pencils out we're going to we're going to do it and you're going to get to see it soon uh, I want to ask you a little bit about your professional career and your perspective. Um, having worked in the field of sustainability for several years um, in the oil and gas industry, 
um, online retail, obviously, and hospitality. Mm -hmm. Do you see differences or common threads across um, all of those different sectors in terms of how they address sustainability or don't address sustainability? The similarities that I see actually is, is a challenge people are having. It's how do you grow your company uh, sustainably? So how do you grow and, and, and keep your environmental growth checked? So what I see a lot is that companies struggle with how to grow and your environmental footprint grows. How do you keep that the same? And how do you shrink your environmental footprint while you grow your business? It's a really complex question, but companies, I guess, are all kind of really having great dialogue about how to do that. And that's exciting because we're figuring it out slowly but surely. But I do think that growth is outpacing environmental stewardship. And so that's where we need to be focused on is not let that growth get too far and too quick over environmental uh, concerns. Do you have one company that you admire in terms of how they've approached sustainability and growth? I love Patagonia. I love their products. I love their story. Yvonne Chouinard's story of being a climber and, and putting the environment first. You know, he, his philosophy about environmental stewardship is so awesome and it really resonates with a company like Zappos. That's a young company that um, feels like they also, we also have a higher purpose. Patagonia had a higher purpose. You know, they, they are almost like an NGO operating as a private company. And it's really awesome to see what they're doing. And I d definitely admire them. And I'd love to see Zappos sustainability program kind of modeled after Patagonia's.